It's a little tricky to find the outposts Republicans have set up in Denver during the Democratic Convention. There's one McCain sign, and as you go up the block here, there's one other sign that there might be Republicans nearby. But when you get to the building, there are plenty of signs. Not ready 08, most of them say, and that's what the message is here in the RNC operation that houses the party's war room ready for rapid response as the Democratic Convention goes on. The basic concept behind the Not Ready 08 Center is to point to all the things that aren't being said. Barack Obama is talking about his agenda, his economic agenda, his plans for the next four years if he was elected. And our responsibility here is to try and create, help create some news coverage around what is not being said, some of the truths about his economic plans, his failure on energy policy, and, and those various things that aren't, frankly, being discussed at the Democratic National Convention. So we're bringing in high-level profile uh, surrogates like Governor Romney, Polanyi, uh, Giuliani, possible vice presidential types. Um, and doing a lot of, with Democrats that support McCain over the course of the week uh, and shooting out a uh, rapid response out of our uh, war room. And that's, uh, that's what we're here for. Yeah, tell me what we have in here. All right, this is the bullpen or the war room. It's not like, um, it's not what these guys are doing are obviously watching the speakers you know, and on TV. Like um, for those guys, as, right? as, you know, we get into the evening and the actual convention resumes, we'll be monitoring every word that comes from the podium. Um, looking for factual inaccuracies, responding to what's appropriate. Um, in some cases, it may warrant a press release or something along those lines. In some cases, it, it may not. Uh, we have a resident um, blogger here. He blogs on the McCain Report, the McCain website. We'll post information there and then move links around to reporters. Um, we have you know, research specialists here uh, with regard to McCain's record, with regard to Obama and Biden's record. So. Uh, we're monitoring what's going on throughout the day and responding. Um, we'll get up to about 10 people in this room. We also have about another dozen people throughout the facility managing the press conference area, the live shots. We have a satellite truck outside. So we'll do hundreds of interviews from here in the St. Louis, Albuquerque, you know, um, you know in, in media markets across the country. In modern politics and modern communications, why is this important? It's important because you can't let a news cycle go, at much less, you know, an hour, two hours go with an attack that's a distortion of your candidate's record and you can't let that go and responded to. Um, reporters are now not writing for the next day, they're writing for the next hour, for the next two hours, because they have blogs that need to be updated, they're going on TV, they're doing radio interviews. So if, if you let that attack go unresponded to, then that attack repeated in numerous other outlets. So it needs to be corrected, it needs to be corrected immediately, and for that purpose, all of this needs to be monitored, because we need to know who's going out and saying the right things and who's saying inaccurate things. When it's inaccurate, they need to get a phone call it needs to be fixed right away. Is this a bunch of guys sitting around Googling, or you have databases ready to go with everything you need? We have databases, thousands of pages worth of information on each of the candidates uh, that are uh, accessible to everyone that's in the building. Uh, this is the equivalent of working in the RNC or the McCain campaign. It has been technologically set up, so it's totally seamless. And how many hours a day do you stay up the place? Uh, we stay up the place from 6 a.m. till you know, the convention uh, concludes for the evening, so around 10.30 or so. And the Democrats will do the same thing for you in Minneapolis next week, I assume. I'm sure they will, and it's their right. Ken Herman, Cox Newspaper's Washington Bureau, reporting from the Republican War Room in Denver, Colorado.